Welcome to Starbase Pink. This is your daily space and SpaceX news. This is special update. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the FAA launch license. The FAA determined SpaceX met all safety, environmental policy, payload, airspace integration, and financial responsibility requirements. This launch license ends five years from today, not for the next Starship launches, but for Starship B7 S25 launch. But they can modify and remove this term in the near future. I just hope that the FAA safety inspector will be present at Starbase at time, not like that time. If you are following Starship program, you know what I'm talking about. Elon reacts, he said, success maybe, excitement guaranteed. Another notice to Airman issued today for April 18th. So we have one for April 17th and the second for April 18th. Maybe we will have the third one for April 19th. And we have possible closure from Monday, April 17th to Wednesday, April 19th from 12 a.m. to 2 p.m. We have a nice official patch for Starship's first launch attempt. A Starbase launch site. After securing the launch license, it's time for FTS installation. As you can see here, the team's installing the flight termination system for Ship 24 and for Booster 72. So I think by the end of tomorrow, we will see Starship B7 S24 fully stacked again, but this time for launch. And I can wait. All thanks to the one and the only La Padre, as always, for the amazing 24 7 live coverage. And we have an official announcement from SpaceX 2 for Monday, April 17th launch with an upcoming live stream in place. And I can wait. That's it for now. This is the end of this episode. See you tomorrow.